it's Josephine from The Point Shop. I'm at San Francisco Ballet today. When the news of the Russian invasion in Ukraine broke out, YGP was working to place like 60 plus dancers into different schools all over the world. Yeva is one of them. How did you get involved with YGP? So I did a competition uh, in Paris. I went to study to Europe and it was great, but then I was supposed to go home and um, YGP helped me to figure out where I can go in summer. So I went to America for my first time, like in summer 2022. Okay. And then I got invited to ABT JKO school. That's just how it happened. So. Mm -hmm. so when the news broke out about the invasion, YGP was working really hard to place all of these dancers that they knew to different ballet companies. So YGP has a lot of friends all around the world, and they called all the directors and the school directors to make sure that these dancers had a place to go. So it's an incredible story. You don't hear this a lot, but this is some of the work that they do outside of the competition itself. But let's talk about your shoes. Sure. Does any part of your feet hurt? when you're on point? No. Awesome. How long have you been in the Triumph? Since I started doing point class. So you've only been in one shoe? Yeah. Okay, this is actually quite rare to have the same exact shoe from the beginning to now. Somehow, you ended up with the right shoe in the first yeah. try. Tondu, towards me. Okay, good. Obviously, she has insanely gorgeous feet, but you can see that there's a lot of knuckles sticking out. Her toes are very flexible. She has incredible range of motion in the top of her ankle. So the Triumph has a slightly longer vamp and it has a slightly wider platform than other Nikolai Point shoes. But since you have never tried anything else, how would you know if there's something better, right? Yes. We're going to try something that is slightly more tapered, something that's a little bit wider across the metatarsal. So she's very, very flexible in her arch. So I grabbed her something that is a little bit harder because I know that that's what she typically wears. The heel is beautiful on you. Step up onto both feet. So this is a harder shank. It's a little bit shorter in the vamp, but the wings are just as long. Those look really pretty. Gorgeous. They look so good. So this. Cool. Yeah, that's what a lot of people say in this shoe too, because mm -hmm. right across your knuckles, yeah. it's a little bit wider, mm -hmm. but because it's smaller at the tip of the shoe, she's not going to sink. So even on one foot, this is really beautiful. Yeah. This looks really stable. So even though the platform is a tiny bit smaller, it doesn't look like she needs anything that is much wider than this. I grabbed a different shoe intentionally just because I wanted her to see something that is a little bit different than what she was in, but this is just stunning. They're so comfortable and so good to balance. So do you feel like you can balance easier in this shoe? Yeah. So sometimes a smaller platform can do that if the shape of the shoe fits nicely. So I think this is just a little bit better across the metatarsal like I said, the shoe that she's in right now, beautiful. I think it looks fantastic, but this is just a little bit different. And then this way she can figure out what she likes better. Are you hearing a lot of news from back home? Oh yeah, sure, like every day. It's, sometimes it's very tough to hear some sort of news, but uh, you know, I'm kind of used to it since it's more than a year already. Mm -hmm. How long has it been since you've been back home? Actually, I've been in Christmas. Okay. This Christmas I celebrated at home with my family mm -hmm. because actually YGP helped me to get home this year. So yeah, I got a chance to celebrate it with my family and it was amazing and I just missed all of them. But of course you feel this like energy, you see everything around, it's like very hard and you see army everywhere so you definitely see that there is a war in the country. Mm -hmm. But otherwise, it was really nice to go home. Mm -hmm. So how important is it that you're able to continue to dance throughout this entire process? Well, dance is my, basically by my life, and ballet is just what makes me happy. That's what helps me to disturb myself from different uh, bad thoughts about Ukraine, about problems. So for me, ballet is not only a dream, it's not only a goal, it's also also some sort of a world where I'm escaping when I need um, to distract myself. Mm -hmm. So it's really helpful and I just, I'm just going into ballet and I'm escaping this world and I'm enjoying it. I think that's the whole point of art itself. Yeah. And I, I love that this is important and I know that there's a lot of issues that happen in the world, but it is so important to also see that like art can still help 
because mental health is also yeah. very important. So Tamara Rojo, the artistic director of San Francisco Ballet, is donating overstock point shoes to the United Ukrainian Ballet. That is another cause that the ballet world is really getting behind and something that we want to keep an eye on because we don't want to forget what else is happening in the world. We have a lot of overstock point shoes and if you are interested in purchasing any point shoes from the San Francisco Shoe Room, please let us know. Message us, email us, comment down below. We're also going to link a website here. I'll see you guys later.